Yeah. Do you call it Baxter? Yeah. You do? <laughs> They're all called Baxter. Yeah. Can you show me how easy it is to program that? Because you're, yeah. you, you're at it doing a very... Uh... Right. So, this guy's used to the light industry and yep. in academia around the world. Yep. So, light industry in the US, picking, packing, sorting, simple stuff like that. You can prevent the lowest common denominator job in an yeah, yeah. industry offshoring, it prevents the whole industry offshoring. The key thing about this guy is he's safe. You've got an industrial robot in uh, building a car, you've got an engine flying about, you don't want that. You don't want people there. This guy springs all joints, comes into contact, and stops. Yeah. To teach him, so he's got a camera here in his wrist. Uh, okay. So I showed him what the patient looks like, he built a visual model of it. I showed him the area that he should work in, okay. how to pick it up, and how to put it down. I showed him that in about a minute, and he showed him once, one position, and he can then extrapolate that work in the workspace. Okay, and recognize it using his camera. So the very first time, is it going to be a bit slower because it's looking and double checking, or? Okay, okay, okay. Why did it got a swiveling head? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes I see that turn. What, what, how does that help its arms? Okay, so if you're collaborating with it, yeah. eyes, yeah. you always look where it's about to move. Okay. Stop, okay. So it's not just using the camera in its hand, it'll also... Oh, sorry, I thought you meant there was a camera in that as well, eyes. There's a camera there, but it's not using that. Oh, okay, okay. The other thing is, if I touch him, turn towards me so I can break. Right. Okay, so it's really just to assist you yeah. interacting with it. Okay. Okay, fine. Academia, you put this in a research lab, you plug a PC in the back, you get full open source control of all the joints. You can use it for your research, your PhD candidates all around the country. Using this the hardware platform for their research. Yeah, yeah. You get all the sets of feedback data, the hands are interchangeable, if you design your robot hand, you can plot it in. Okay, that's interesting. What universities have got this in the UK? Good dozen. You get you you got a long list. That's good. That's really good. Excellent. And he's nice and quiet. Yeah, relatively quiet. He's pretty quiet. Could you just show me the resistance? So if it, if it does detect something in the way, so it was doing its normal moving across from one side to the other. If it just encountered a resistance. Okay, and then will it be able to continue, or is it okay? So it knows you haven't jogged it or upset its positioning. That's pretty accurate still. Okay, good. So it's pretty safe around people. It's good. Hence, it's here. Yeah, it's good. Thank you. It's really good. I mean, you asked him to put his hand in the way. <laughs> okay, that was interesting. Do you often put your head underneath robot arms? I do with this one. You do trust it? it. Industrial. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Industrial arm, put your head up. <laughs>